The LST or landing ship tank, described irreverently by some crew as a large slow target, is seen arriving on Southampton water at Embarkation Hut S3 outside the present day Platform Tavern. Roughly a hundred yards of the original hard is now reclaimed, but it is still possible to share the same view of Southampton Water as those in the film. On the left is Berth 50 and beyond today's Ocean Terminal. On the right, with a modern slipway, is the Town Quay and the New Forest in the distance. This 330-foot ocean-going craft was designed to disembark tanks, therefore it could also accommodate ambulances and embark large numbers of casualties in a comparatively short time through its bow doors. They could also be fitted with a small emergency surgical facility without reducing its ability to perform its principal task of landing vehicles. However, as a combatant vessel, LSTs could not be protected with a red cross and were legitimate targets. This was described as an improvised method of removing casualties forced upon the medical services by operational necessity. Planners established an Army Navy Division of Cross Channel Evacuation Responsibilities that applied to both British and American forces. Under it, the armies were to collect all wounded on the far shore and move them to the beaches. The navies would load evacuation craft and care for patients on the voyage to England. The armies then would have charge of unloading the wounded and removing them to hospitals. Much is made today of the rivalry between the Allies, but as can be seen in the film, it is an American LST that is bringing home British soldiers. In the modern film, locating the embarkation hard today, the platform tavern is the darker building on Canute Road. This area close to the docks is named the platform, not after a railway, but a gun platform made up of cannon for defence in medieval times. We can locate the hard precisely because just before the end of the film, from the ambulance, we can see through the archway created by God's House Tower, the town's old gateway to the salt marshes, now the site of the eastern docks. The arriving patients were to undergo two stages of triage and emergency treatment. Holding units at the docks and hards were to give surgical treatment to men tagged by LST doctors as requiring immediate attention before further transportation. The rest of the patients were to go by ambulance directly from the ships to transit hospitals 15 to 30 miles inland. These hospitals were to separate wounded again between those unable to travel and those ready for rail movement to general hospitals for definitive treatment. However, during the first days of combat, when the beachhead was shallowest, holding units and transit hospitals assumed many functions of division clearing stations, but still managed to keep wounded flowing from the coast to the large hospital centres in the north and west of England. There is discussion about the total number of casualties that occurred during Operation Overlord, from June the 6th, the date of D-Day, to August the 30th, when German forces retreated across the River Seine. One estimate puts a figure over 425,000 Allied and German troops, with as many as 9,000 wounded and 4,400 Allied casualties on D-Day alone.